Hello guys, uh, welcome to Weekend Football Preview Show where we'll be taking a look at what will be happening on the local football scene. There were supposed to be PSL matches over the week but uh, something happened along the way uh, which uh, ended up uh, with matches being a postponed as the referees failed to show up. But however, uh, it's now normalcy at its peak as the Chibugu Super Cup semi-final clashes at Tech Center Stage uh, this weekend. Uh, in the studio, we're joined uh, by Francis. Uh, Francis, uh, how are you? I'm fine, thanks, Gilda. Yes, uh, it's now back to football again and uh, after uh, a sabbatical due to the FIFA international break and now this weekend we are looking at the Chibugu Super Cup. Probably, before anything else, what are your thoughts? Well, the Chibugu Super Cup, I think uh, the tournament reaching its uh, business end now, I think it's a matter of uh, teams that will be on form uh, in the semi-finals uh, rather than uh, anything else. Because uh, sometimes you have teams that would have performed well in the group phase and then uh, they fall by the wayside in the knockout phase of the competition. So it's about uh, teams uh, that rise to the occasion, that come and uh, show that uh, they want to win the competition. Talking of, talking of teams that rise to the occasion, we have a new boy here, that's Cranon Bullets, taking on Guess Platinum Stars at the National Sports Stadium on Saturday, the first semi-final. Probably... Uh, what are your thoughts? What do you think about that? Because this is their maiden appearance in the Premier League. Well, uh, definitely surprise packages. Cranbourne uh, Bullets, uh, when the draw was conducted, few would have expected that Cranbourne uh, Bullets would be able to make it to the knockout phase of the competition. But they have shown their metal uh, during the group phase. The, they managed to overcome uh, Black Rhinos. Uh, they also managed to overcome uh, Manika Diamonds. Uh, so they have shown that uh, uh, they are a very ambitious side and I think uh, what's really helped them is the fact that uh, in the technical department uh, they've got uh, some experienced brains. You look at Nils Bester, Yabo, Salutera, showing that uh, he is a seasoned coach and uh, sometimes uh, it, it's more of, an, uh, uh, of a collective uh, uh, contribution uh, by a squad that is uh, uh, drilled uh, from defense, midfield, uh, right through to the forwards. So I do think uh, that uh, Cranbourne have fared very, very well. It will be interesting to see um, how they fare against uh, an on-fire Angesi Platinum side uh, uh, that has shown uh, that uh, uh, they are a squad uh, that should be considered as uh, title contenders. I know th that uh, it's just been uh, uh, one match day in the Premier Soccer League so far, but uh, Angesi Platinum will definitely be a tough team to beat, but we should not write off Cranbourne Bullets. Yes, but, but now looking, looking at the odds, Cranbourne Bullets, out of the six games, they have not lost. They have drawn three, they have won three. As compared to Ngezi, they have won four, they have drawn one and lost one. Looking at the odds, don't you think Ngezi Platinum, uh, actually the odds are not here on, in their favor? I think uh, when you look at that now, uh, that's when we look at the opposition that the teams have faced. I will say that uh, this is the toughest test uh, for Crimbon Bullets uh, so far. You look at the group matches, they played against Tenax, they played against Black Rhinos, they also um, uh, yeah, played against, against uh, Manika yeah. Diamonds. And uh, in the quarterfinal stage, they also faced Harare City. But then looking at the strength of the teams uh, so far, Ngezi Platinum is dear definitely their biggest test yet. It will be interesting to see whether they'll be able to overcome Angezi Platinum. Angezi Platinum side, uh, yes, you've alluded to the fact that they've lost one, but then look at the opposition that they lost to FC Platinum. Yes, We're looking course. at one of the formidable sides. Uh, the defending the champions in as far as the Premier Soccer League is concerned. Exactly, the defending champions. Uh, so this will be a stern test uh, for Nisbet. Uh, Yabo Saruchera, it will be interesting to see whether he'll be able to get the better of uh, his counterparts. That's a road to Lakar who happened to take Ngezi Platinum into the final of the Chibuku Super Cup that was in 2019. Yes, of course, of course. Uh, to, talking of that, talking of that, coming in as the underdogs here at Cranbourne Bullets, don't, don't you think that uh, they'll be very much comfortable because they've got no pressure at all? But looking at Ngezi, you know, Rodrigo Lakama and his charges have been on record saying they are in it to win it. Uh, looking at that aspect, uh, don't you think that that will give them a lot of pressure and they'll be prone to making mistakes? But then, 
also we are looking at the uh, the star studded yes platinum uh, side which has got they've got guns blazing everywhere from the midfield right up to the up to the front Definitely looking at uh, Ngezi Platinum, this is a squad that has a lot of depth. Uh, you look at the players that they brought into their squad, you've got the likes of uh, uh, Anel Kachivandire, you've got the likes of uh, uh, Bruno Mtigo, you've got the likes of Wellington. And he's been scoring, Wellington. Bruno Mtigo has been scoring, and now he's leading the charts in the Chibugo Super Cup with six goals in, in six matches. Also looking at Cremon Bullets, they've got um, seasoned players like Wanaga Pinda, formerly with, with Black Rhinos. Is now the their midfield kingpin, and uh, they've also have um, uh, the next two a, a good goalkeeper that's Elisha, and he's also young and very flexible in between the goalposts. Do you think that uh, Ngezi Platinum will be able uh, to to meander through and probably grind a possible result? It will be a tough game for them, no doubt. Looking at a criminal bullets uh, who managed to overcome uh, Arrest City in the quarterfinals. And you look at a Arrest City side, which is not an easy team to beat. But uh, Cranborn Bullets, uh, uh, looking at the squad, um, it is a modest team. We've talked about uh, Wanda Kapinda, one of the more experienced uh, uh, players uh, in their squad. Uh, they'll definitely not be an easy team to beat. This is a team that uh, has been well drilled uh, defensively. It's a well organized outfit. But again, it, it will be interesting to see whether they'll be able to get the better of uh, Ngezi Platinum side, uh, which has so much depth. We talk of uh, Devon Chaffa, you talk about the form of Denver Mukamba, you talk, <laughs> you talk of the likes yes. of uh, Keith Murera, you talk of the likes of, they still have the experience of uh, Akata Amini, you're talking about Valentine Kadonjo, we've spoken about the front men there. They've got uh, also Wellington Tadera up there. Wellington Tadera. And the interesting thing about Ngezi Platinum is goals come from all over. You can never predict who's going to score. Of course, uh, from Gezi Platinum, goals coming from all over. We have seen Denver Mkamba scoring a brace. Uh, we've seen uh, uh, Wellington Tadera also causing up upsets. We've also seen Kadamin from dead balls. Yeah, of course, it will be a, a tricky encounter. But then still, I still believe that uh, Crimson Bullets have what it takes to stage an upset, uh, given that they've also added uh, some depth into their team. They've got um, 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 Bewe as well, he's a seasoned player. They also have uh, Tendaika Chembere, who they, they, they bought from, from Manika Diamonds. They also have uh, Yusuf Wasili, who is one of their chief strikers from uh, the Division 1. They also have uh, Tendai Chibuli. And uh, interestingly, they have got uh, Everson Ferreba. He's been scoring for fun. He, he, that guy has been just scoring for fun, uh, as well as um, uh, Tayo Shibuyu. Those two guys, they just been scoring for fun. I still believe Yabo will stay an upset. But then, what are your thoughts on that one, given that uh, these guys, uh, they've been scoring for fun and they're also coming in as underdogs, no pressure on their side. And then looking at the matches, it is, they are here to make a point. Well, from my perspective, um, perspective rather, I do think that uh, uh, Ngezi Platinum will be able to um, overcome Nesbitt, uh, Yabo, Saruchira's uh, charges, Cranbourne bullets. But I know that uh, it will be definitely be a tough contest. But then, um, just looking at Ngezi Platinum on paper, I mean, this is a formidable squad. And to think of them not being able to overcome Cranbourne bullets, I don't know. But uh, in my own opinion, I think that uh, Ngezi Platinum will emerge uh, uh, two nil victors over Cranbourne tomorrow. Two new victors are uh, Gezi Platinum it is, but then moving away from Gezi Platinum stars, now looking at the major highlight of the Chibuku Super Cup semi-final, Dynamos taking on FC Platinum in the other semi-final at the National Sports Stadium. Your thoughts? Well, it will be a tricky contest. Uh, yet another test that's for Tondra Indira, um, who wants to prove himself uh, as the coach that is going to bring salvation to the Glamour Boys. Dynamos have done well in the competition so yes. far, yet to lose. They've uh, won and uh, drawn their other encounters in the Chibuku Super Cup. They're yet to taste defeat, but this is going to be definitely their biggest test. Dynamos fans would want to see whether um, their squad will be able to get the better of uh, um, uh, a well-resourced, uh, well-motivated, um, talented FC Platinum side. Talking of that, uh, also another interesting aspect about Tony Raindira is that uh, uh, his charges have never conceded from an opponent. The two goals that they have conceded so far came from Imano Jalai, those were own goals. 
And does that mean that uh, they have a good uh, defense or what? Typical of Stanza, Stanza believes in making sure that uh, um, they are stable, they are compact at the back. Um, he's never hidden the fact that uh, uh, his main concern is uh, grilling results. He's not too concerned about bringing the entertainment, etc. He's concerned about the results. And um, it's really shown that uh, Dynamos have made sure that they try and uh, remain solid at the back while also looking for the goals uh, um, up front. But uh, it will be uh, interesting to see whether they'll be able to shut out uh, vastly talented uh, FC platinum side we're talking about the likes of uh, uh, Silas Songani and that squad uh, I mean this is a squad that has uh, so much talent that boasts of so much talent who has done well for the Warriors they've got Petros Mari when you're talking about uh, goals they've got uh, yes. Such a richly assembled squad, and um, so it will be interesting to see whether the solidity that Dynamos have so have shown so far um, will be able to um, once again come to the fore when they take on uh, uh, FC Platinum. Remember, conceding two. Um, and just looking at the fact that uh, Dynamos have played more matches than the other they groups. Played ten, remember, yes. remember the other groups. There are just six matches, but they played ten matches. And just to concede two goals goes to show that uh, they are uh, really formidable. They are solid at the back. And maybe looking looking at at an interesting player, Bill Antonio. Will you think you rise to the occasion, given that uh, this will be a big stage, actually? Uh, of course, they've played some matches before in the Chibuku Super Cup, but now, now the state that they are, this is a, a very big stage. And uh, talking of a game against FC Platinum, will you think such youngster, uh, like in the likes of Bill Antonio, will be able to rise to the occasion and uh, give the Dynamo's faithfuls something to find about? I think he's shown his pedigree this uh, far. So um, I don't think he'll have anything to fear, uh, considering the fact that uh, he's become more of a regular in the Glamour Bob Boys uh, side. So I think uh, Bill Antonio has nothing to fear. He has, um, doesn't have pressure because this is a youngster coming into, into the squad and showing that uh, um, he is there to be counted. Looking at a recent national team call-up that he had um, representing the country down in South Africa, uh, making an appearance as a substitute, I think he has shown so much potential. And um, even if he doesn't perform, I don't think he'll be judged based on the performance against FC Platinum because he has shown that he has a lot of potential. He has a lot of time to improve. So, um, uh, Bill Antonio definitely a good player, but it'll be interesting to see how he performs against FC Platinum. Of course, we've got uh, two good sides there in FC Platinum and Dynamos, but moving away a bit from the uh, caliber of players they have, uh, taking a look at the coaches, the caliber of coaches. Here we've got uh, Tony Ryan Deraya, and uh, here we've got. Uh, and Norman Mapeza, both teams somewhere, somehow have been in charge of the national team. What's your take in as far as their comparison on this concept? Well, both um, very good tactical brains on uh, either side. You look at what Norman Mapeza has done for FC Platinum, um, managing to bring glory to the Jishane based side. You will also look at what he did when he went down south, uh, uh, that's with Chipa United. He showed his pedigree. Not, not much to prove. Yes, many people have spoken about the fact that he took over the Warriors, didn't manage to um, get a single point from the three matches, but then he illustrated that uh, he was embarking on a on a rebuilding the process, process yes. so um, definitely Norman Mapeza um, is an astute coach but looking at his counterpart uh, that's Tondra Indiraya he's won this competition before with Ngezi Platinum that was back in 2008 so he has already shown that uh, he has the pedigree to, um, to, to, to win trophies um, yes he missed out on a league title with Ngezi Platinum but then I have been impressed by the the way he's gone about the business uh, at Dynamo so far, especially the recruitment, how he's managed to assemble a side that has grown in confidence and is showing great potential. And uh, what, what, what's your prediction on, on that game? Because, uh, yeah, of course, this one is a, is a tight one. It's a tight one. I know because looking at the odds, Dynamo's have played uh, 10 games, they've not lost. 
uh, FC Platinum have played four, they've lost one. But then still uh, looking at these two teams, uh, it's, it's, it's a tricky call. What's, 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 your, what's your prediction? Ah, it's going to it's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a tough one. It might even go to penalties. Yeah, it's penalties. Um, hey, it's, it's it's going to be a really difficult one. But uh, I uh, deep down, I think that uh, FC Platinum will emerge one 0 victors. Um, this is going to be a tough game for the Glamour Boys. We've talked about it being Tondraya's biggest test yet. So it will be interesting to see where the Dynamos will be able to rise to the occasion. But something deep down tells me that uh, FC Platinum will walk away victors and, and uh, book a berth in the final. There you have it. Uh, Gezi Platinum stars uh, one year or two year on the trot. And uh, FC Platinum one year on the go. That's from uh, uh, none other than Francis Yamzamba. But for me, it's Dynamos a win. And uh, for Kremlin Bullets, I'm also placing or putting my money on uh, these uh, new boys to see an upset at the National Sports Stadium. And uh, that's just about it uh, for this week's uh, football preview show.